What's up guys, it's Zach aka Homes with an X. Thanks for stopping by. This week I've been making some changes to the HF210 design. I've been practicing my flying on the DRL flight simulator and I am 3D printing in my bedroom. I'm also really excited to tell you guys about my latest purchase. It's something that's going to help me enhance these weekly videos in a huge way. Uh, any guesses? I'll, I'll let you know later. So at the moment I am just warming up the Prusa to print the new lower frame. I've made some design changes uh, since that crash that you saw last week. And basically I've strengthened up the frame a lot. I've moved the battery placement to the top of the frame, which required me to move the mount for the VTX, the aerial, uh, and all of that stuff. It's also a fully sealed frame now, so the back was open for the battery. And now I've changed that as obviously the battery's on top, but that can be sealed. So overall I think it's going to be a more coherent design. It's going to look cleaner from the outside and I'm really excited to see how it holds up with the new modifications I've made. Uh, there's also some fins at the back that I've added, some inside supports. I guess you could call them webs, not fins. Uh, and that should help strengthen up the back of the frame there where it broke last time. So the print's just starting. Uh, I'm using again PLA. I'm going to talk a little bit about that now. People have been asking me why I'm so focused on making this thing out of PLA and there are a number of reasons for that. First of all, PLA is a biodegradable plastic and it is made from renewable resources such as cornstarch. And so even though there are a lot of stronger plastics out there that are more suitable for drone frames, they're not as friendly for the environment. And also the benefits of PLA for printing are huge. It's the easiest material to print with. It requires the lowest uh, heat settings, doesn't give off any odors. And overall, it is, it is a really good product. So my goal is to make 3D printed drone frame that's perfect for PLA and then of course you can strengthen it up even further by using a more exotic filament, a nylon or a you know carbon infused uh, filament. So this new print for the lower frame is seven minutes in. Uh, so far it's looking pretty good. I'm printing this at a lower resolution uh, mainly because it's you know a draft, a prototype and also I've got a lower infill ratio Sorry, a lower infill percentage, but I'm using the cubic infill, so I'm experimenting there to see if I can have a, a lighter frame with a more solid infill, yet uh, a less dense infill, if that makes sense. Well, that first layer looks stunning so far. Uh, really happy with that. So, so I did mention as well that I have been doing a little bit of training on the DRL flight simulator, and I'm hesitant to say that I think I'm actually getting the hang of it. It's, it's, it's extremely difficult. I've, I've seen so many videos of people flying these drones and I always thought, like I know it's gonna be harder than it looks, but I always thought, okay, I get, I get how it works. I got on that simulator, uh, this was just after I had that FPV crash where I didn't know what I was doing. And man, it's so difficult to wrap your head around, but I've spent a few hours on there. I've done all the training things, I've done a lot of freestyle and I think I'm, it's starting to click. All right, that's 17 minutes. The first layer is absolutely beautiful. I would expect no less. I'm gonna leave that running for a little while. I'll check in every now and then. Uh, but for now, it's time to go get a coffee. And when I come back, hopefully this will be almost done. It's not gonna take me four hours to get a coffee, but. And then after that, I just need to print the top cover. And then it's on to the, actually putting those bits into the new thing, the old electronics into there. And so the last thing that I did want to mention briefly is this new purchase I've made, which I'm excited about if you can't tell. I had my eye on the DJI Mavic for a while and recently I kind of make it, made a bit of a rash decision, a bit of an impulse buy, but I watched the Casey Neistat video on the DJI Spark and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get one. So I did. And what I'm intending is that, is that I'll be able to film some awesome aerial shots to supplement these videos. Alright guys, we're at 80% and uh, also you can see that my girlfriend's back. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so it's now been a couple of hours since I began that new print and I've actually had to cancel the original one and start it fresh with a new slice because somewhere along the line when I sliced the original one I ended up with a low, a very low percentage of infill. I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, very minimal infill going on there and I, I caught that just as it was um, until it's about third layer of infill. So I'll let that run for another few hours. Uh, then when that's finished, I'll chuck the top cover onto print. And yeah, that's the printing done after that. And then I can move on to the assembly. What's up guys? There we are. It's a new day. I'm doing the top cover print now. The lower frame finished printing late yesterday. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, what I'm going to do next is transplant the electronics from the broken frame into the new frame and Optimistically, I'll be able to test flight today. We'll see how I go with time uh, Now have a look at this So here's the new print um, I did this on draft mode. So the layers are 0.25 mil So I'll check back in in a few hours once the top cover has finished printing Okay, the top cover is now at 94% just over two hours, not far off. And I've been doing the transplant of the electronics. So I'll take you down to the studio and show you where I'm at. Follow me. Here we are. And so the transplant is complete. Yeah, overall I, I like the layout better with the VTX at the back and I've tightened up the um, XT60 so that it's nice and secure in the back there, the zip tie. Hey guys, so the drone is finished. Uh, I've done all the calibrations and it's ready to fly. I'll have to do that next weekend now as it's become a bit windy here in the city so I can't safely test it. The plans are pretty much ready to go up on Thingiverse. If there's enough interest I'll, I'll post them up there. Just let me know in the comments if you want to build this drone. Also if you're not already a subscriber make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make a new video every week and the more people that subscribe the more motivated I am to make more videos. Also leave me a like if you liked the video. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.